Happy Monday, everyone. I just got to work a little bit ago. I had some dinner and now I'm sitting down. Windows are still open. It's like 74 degrees. It's beautiful. And it's kind of making me, kind of making me mad that it's going to be this nice before I go on vacation. No, I'm just kidding. It really doesn't make me mad. So I've got a couple things for you today. We're going to be designing with um, Sam Speed Box for April, the Chateau in Bloom. And I actually, actually just got something in the mail from a fellow bead friend. Um, thank you, Leslie, for sending me a little gift. And I'll go ahead and um, open it up. Well, I opened it up because I wanted to look at it and I wanted to let her know that I got it. But I'll go ahead and show you what Leslie was so kind for to send me. It was so sweet. So I'm going to do that and um, then we'll get beading. But so the countdown today is 12 days until vacation, um, 10 days until I'm off of work. So <laughs> Got a countdown going. If, I don't know if you'll see these in any kind of order or not, but um, it really just depends on how Chris ends up putting them up. I only have a couple notes on some of the videos that um, to post at specific times. So um, this one obviously will be one that is post after the 17th. So you'll see this one sometime after the 17th, which means I'll be that much closer to vacation. So yeah, because today's the 15th. It's gonna be great. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn you around. We'll get this little sweet package from Leslie opened up and um, then we'll get to beading. I wanna make a pair of earrings and a necklace today. So I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm here. So Leslie sent um, a nice little card and I did not get her permission to read it on camera. So I just wanna say thank you, Leslie, for all the sweet things that you said to me in this card. Um, but we'll go ahead and show everything else. I got this really cute little sticker that says, be happy. And I think I'm gonna put this on my car because I need to remember that when I'm driving somewhere to always be happy. So this is such a cute little sticker and it's like so me. It, it just, I, I love it. So thank you for that, it's really cute. And then we got some things here. Let me open this up. I think they might be ear wires. Oh, no, 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 they're bead frames. They're bead frames. Okay, so let's open it up and let's take a peek at these because I really want to see these. I think they're bead frames. Sometimes I look at something and I'm like, I don't know what it is until I open it all the way and take a peek and see what it actually is. Oh, and it is, it's very petite bead frames in silver and gold. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. These are so nice. I like how like tiny they are. They're very subtle. Oh, I got somebody knocking on my door. Hold on one second. Hi. Oh, you got them. Thanks. Yep. Oh, this guy. Thanks, buddy. Yep. You're so I had my son help me out with something for a future project. And I will just show you like a little sneak peek. Um, he drilled some holes in some wine corks for me, <laughs> so it's going to be a little. It's going to be a little surprise later. Um, I may not even get to it until after vacation, but we'll see. These are really cute bead frames. I love these. I can't, oh, I'm going to want to use those soon. Those are really pretty. And then this nice little set of different findings. It's got ear wires. Um, oh, it has some of those little screw eye pins. I need some of those. I was I have those in my cart for Amazon. Um, just a bunch of really cool little gadgets that you need. Um, and I do use a lot of silver, so I think I'll keep this one like close by, like in my drawer, so I can grab these little items really quick instead of saying, "I'll be right back, you guys. I got to get one more thing." <laughs> so this is really neat. Thank you so much. And then this cute little kitty cat pen. Oh, it's adorable. Look at how cute this little guy is. So happy, happy little kitty. So I love that. That one's going right in my purse. And then we have, this is um, a diamond tweezer. So let's open this up. Some of these tools I may have to like Google because I don't know like what it does. So it looks like it, you guys might have to help me out with this. So it looks like, is it magnetic? No, it's not magnetic. Um, I'm gonna Google this to figure out how to use this because I've never used one of these. Um, 
but I think you can even use it like if I don't do any of the diamond um, painting which I want to but I'm like all right girl slow your roll because yeah I got a lot going on right now and I don't I think maybe that might be a winter project I might pick up so if this helps with that that's going to be good to know but even now like you can use it to make you know different size um rings or um you know wraps or whatever so that's that's going to be great that's really handy thank you it's really really handy put that right in my little my little tool jar there and then we have this and i think this is the knotting tool oh that must be what that is too then is that is that just to make bigger knots oh you guys i am so goofy like i had no idea okay i'm gonna have to practice with this the name of this threw me off it totally threw me off all right well good i'm gonna get some like scrap of my um of my uh cording and i'm gonna i'm gonna work on this i'm gonna practice with this become a pro at it that's really cool leslie thank you so much you are so sweet all right, you guys, I'm going to get set up for the earrings. We're going to do the earrings first and then the bracelet next. Right. Okay, I think I have everything. I have all my tools and everything. I have some eye pins and head pins in here. Got my jump rings. I have some um, little bead caps and some spacers, my ear wires. And this is what we're going to use from the Sam's um, bead box. So we are using the Empire Lynx. I'm going to use those very pretty we're going and these are tear cast we're going to use the check glass bell flowers and I just put all of what I had left in here if we don't need them all then um, I'll use them as dangles to go in the bracelet and then we also have the table cut check glass butterflies which I'm thinking I want to do up here above the Hair cast um, chandeliers and then we have the lilies that we're going to use the check glass gold washed lilies and then last but not least we have these little Saturn spinners these check glass white Saturn spinners so these are what we're going to use to make our earrings and I think this is going to be really adorable so let's put all of our little dangle ones aside and let's get our butterflies set up. So we need some eye pins for these. And I think we're gonna use a couple spacers just to kind of give it some, um, some more gold in there and a little height. Sorry about the lawnmower running, you guys. I really wanna keep these windows open, but if it gets too loud, I will definitely close it. All right, so let's put our little um, spacers above and below the butterfly. Let me zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see better there we go all right and we're going to just make a um a simple loop with this so i'm just going to bend my wire grab my cutters you know what i am going to close that because it's like right here it's super loud let me close that window real quick I mean, I'm all for people doing their yard. I mean, you can still kind of hear it, but um, it's not nearly as bad as what it was. I'm like, oh man, I'm glad that you're doing your yard, but I'm trying to do something in here. What about me? <laughs> you guys know I'm kidding, right? All right, so let's just go ahead and do this wrap. and the, I mean, this loop here. I'm just gonna twist it around and get that loop. Yeah, I actually, when I was driving home from work, I um, had my windows rolled down a little bit and my, my um, sunroof open and I could smell fresh cut grass. And you guys, that is seriously one of my favorite smells this time of year, it's just fresh cut grass. And it's just, oh, it's so good. I'm like, I love that smell. All right, so here's our other one. Just another simple loop real quick. And Lucy's gonna walk across my mat. Everyone say hi to Lucy. All right, little girl. Keep on trucking. 
It's usually Cheeto that wants to crawl across my mat, but it's her this time. <laughs> what are you doing, little girl? She's in here by herself with me, so she's probably wanting her brother to come in and hang out, but he's, he's hanging out with Xander, and he wants to be with his buddy Xander. Okay, so now we have that part, and now we can go ahead and we're gonna work on our dangles. So let me just set those aside for right now. And I want to see how I want to set this up. So I kind of want, like, maybe Lily is coming down um, the center. And I'm always wondering, do I hang the lilies like this? Or do I, I think I hang them like this. I want some lilies, lilies coming down the center. Um, and I want that to be a little bit longer. So maybe four lilies on each earring. And... Maybe we can do a little gold spacer in between them. Okay, and now she wants out. So this is how it's gonna be, you guys, just to let you know, this is how it's gonna be. You want out, baby? Where's your brother went in? You want out? Go ahead. Okay, good girl. All right, now we're gonna have some peace and quiet for a few minutes until they start knocking on the door and wanting to come back in. I'm glad you guys are so patient with my animals. I really appreciate it. You have no idea like, like how much I appreciate that. This is, this is my life and you guys are a part of it. Um, and so you get to experience all of it with me. Um, the kitties being obnoxious and annoying and all that other stuff. All right, so we have that. And then I was thinking that, um, cause these, so I want this to come in out the center. And then I know that I want some of these. I'm almost wondering if I should cut some chain and hang them in between. I don't know. I don't know if I, like I wanna use these so bad, but I don't know if I could use them with the, maybe I just, I'm thinking you guys, give me a sec. I'm thinking about it. I really do wanna use these because I, I absolutely love these. But I'm wondering, can I use the bead caps on it? Will it make it look a little bit different? Hmm. I could alternate them. Do like a couple of these. And then do the bell flowers coming down. Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and we're gonna start with this and let's go ahead and see what we think about this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of these on. So I know I do wanna start with this, with this middle section here because that's gonna determine how long my sides are because I want my middle to be longer. So it's definitely gonna be, um, it's gonna help us determine what we wanna do. Maybe I could even do one of these numbers. You know, I kind of like that. You know what, let's start it with this and then maybe not do this piece coming down. Let's, let's try that, because I kind of like that. All right, and let's just cut that off and we're gonna make another simple loop Move my little jar back over here, my little trash jar. Okay, so if we did that, and then if we just did some of these, wonder if I should just mix them all up in there all right so yeah I think this will look good all right so there's a lot of thinking going into this and maybe we won't make the bracelet on this video maybe we'll just have this be the earring one and then I'll do the bracelet on a different one but I think the bracelet's gonna be pretty simple so um, I think that will be okay as far as time. And you guys already told me, you know, the ones that are here who want to be here with me because they enjoy my my talking and my thinking and my 
changing things. Um, you guys told me you didn't care if the videos were long. So um, that's good because this one might be a long one. All right, so we have this one too. And these are gonna be some longer earrings, ladies. So if you're not wanting to get longer earrings, um, you can shorten this if you have if you have the chandeliers that you're working with. You can shorten it in several ways. So um, if you're wanting to do earrings out of this, you could either leave this out or maybe hang it down here in the bottom or um, and then or and or both shorten your dangles. You can do do it either way. All right. So now I have these really fine um, eye, uh, head pins. So we're going to have to do a wrap loop on this, which is fine because it's the bottom one. And that kind of looks cool anyways when it's a little wrapped loop. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll get one earring made together. Um, and then I will make the other earring off camera. And then that way we can save ourselves some time because if, once you've seen one made, you won't need to see both made. And you know, I should get in the habit of making the one earring, but I know you guys like the process of me like working through it, just like how you would work through a design um, and coming up with a final result on what you wanted to do. So that's why I tend to do it. I'm tending to do it this way because you guys get that whole thought process and the why I came up with something and how I came up with it. Um, which can be sometimes, you know, painstakingly long and, and agonizing, but <laughs> um, I think that you guys really do like that part of it. So let's see if we can just hang that right from here, which I think we can. Um, there's going to be enough length on this, these earrings, that I really didn't want to add any jump rings to it if I didn't need to. So let's just keep hanging that down. And I, the look I'm going for this is I just really want it to be very soft and romantic, um, which is how I kind of imagine like um, a chateau in full bloom in France would be very, very romantic, very soft. Um, that's just kind of, you know, what I'm thinking of. Super feminine. Um, yeah. Something that you would want to, you know, maybe, you know, wear like, going on a picnic with your loved one and or your significant other and just enjoying the scenery and everything and um, enjoying time with each other. All right, okay. So here is my middle part to my earring. And like I said, they're gonna be long. They're gonna be like shoulder dusters, you guys. They're gonna be pretty long. Um, I Don't forget, I you know, I always try them on. I'll always try it on for you so you can see exactly how long it is and um, on, a, on a human. So we got this part and I wanted to put the butterfly on it so we kind of get the whole picture. All right, so these are gonna be super long. All right, so next we wanna, I wanna incorporate some of these pieces I do want to use some of these bead caps because I think it would make it turn out very different. So um, let's do this. Let's try something here. So I've got this eye pin. Let's put this guy on. Oh, you know what? I think I kind of like that. And then maybe let's do a bellflower. That's kind of cool. All right, yep, I think I'm digging that. So we're gonna start it like that. And then we can just go ahead and do a simple loop for this. We're gonna have the top part of them be the more, have more beads on it than the rest of it. And I know this is a lot of loops and a lot of using a lot of head pins and eye pins, but um, I think it'll be worth it. Okay. And then maybe we can just go with this guy here. And you see how many of these little spacers I have. I don't have very many left. I got the ones I need over here that I need for that. I'm gonna put two over here. I'm gonna put 
three over here because now we have we have four on this side but I won't use that extra one um, because I don't want them to be uneven so let's put this little guy on here and then let's put our bead cap here facing up and use this little white one so now that looks kind of like a flower like coming out of like these are like the more some of the petals and then it looks like a really different flower so that looks kind of cool so let's do that So we have, one of the things we have planned, which my husband planned it out um, for the keys is we're going to do a sunset cruise. So it's like the, you know, the really nice dinner and the sunset cruise. And I'm so looking forward to that. Maybe I can wear these earrings on, on that. It'll be very romantic and, and sweet. All right, so I think we're only gonna do one bellflower here on its own because it's getting to that length where I'm gonna wanna cut that off. So let's go ahead and put on our, our bellflower on our head pin, our ball head pin. I want to top it off with one of these bead caps because I think that just adds a little something extra to it. I think I like that a lot. So we're using a lot of bead caps in this. And then let's do a little wire wrap on it. And these wires are so thin um, they're just, they wrap so super easy. So I'm just going to do a quick wrap on that and cut it off and then we'll press in our little extra piece from our tail. So it doesn't snag on anyone's hair or my hair or whatever I'm wearing. All right. And let's go ahead and hook this one all together. So we'll hang this from the loop. I originally wanted to use these to do like a multi-strand bracelet, but I've been doing a lot of multi-strand bracelets lately. And so I'm like, no, I wanna do earrings. I really wanna do earrings. So that's why, that's why we're landed here at earrings. And I think these would be perfect for that night because I have a really pretty off the shoulder dress that I can wear. And with these being as long as they are, it would look really pretty if they were just actually almost touching my shoulders or if not actually touching my shoulders. So I think that would look really nice. Okay, so there's that side. And then let's do the same thing over here. All right, so we had on our eye pin we had a little ball. Oh, no, we did not. We had our little <laughs> Saturn spinner. And we had a bead cap. And then our bellflower. Okay. And we're going to do that simple loop. I knew eventually I'd figure out what I wanted to do. All right, so there's our simple loop for that one. And then we need another eye pin. And on here we had um, a little ball spacer. And we had our bead cap turned up. And then our little Saturn spacer, or little Saturn bead. Very cute. And then our last one is our ball head pin. And we used our bellflower with a bead cap. And then we wire wrap that one. So once I figured out what I wanted to do, the design came together pretty simple. It wasn't that bad. Oh, 
Okay, so we got that one all done. Then we'll hook it all together, we'll put our ear wire on, and then I'll pause this for you guys um, and do the other one and come back and we'll make the bracelet. Okay. Okay, and our ear wire is attached. And there we go. There is our first little butterfly romantic earring, and I think it looks really charming. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. I'll make the other one, and I'll come back as we uh, as we hang the put the ear wire on, and we'll get ready for our bracelet. All right, guys. Okay, it. guys, I'm back. So I am going to go ahead and attach this ear wire now, and then we have both of our earrings made. And then I'll tell you what we're going to use for the bracelet. I do have some bellflowers and some lilies left and some of those white Saturn beads left, so I just set those aside in case we want to use any of those in our design for the bracelet. So here's our earrings. I think they turned out very pretty, and I'll try them on for you at the end. So we're just gonna set them aside for right now. And in the bracelet we are using, we have the um, Czech glass, royal diamond, mint, opal, and gold beads. We have the Camilla Peridot and gold uh, flowers there. We have the TerraCast um, clasp that we're using, that little petite clasp. And then we have the um, the Cathedral Cut Pink Crystal Picasso beads, check glass and fire polished. So let's pull all those out. I'm not sure how many we'll need, so we'll pull out a good handful. And we're going to use one of these beautiful rose quartz roses. We're gonna use one of those too. All right, and then I'm just gonna put all that stuff aside and we are going to, um, get our stringing and I did not grab wire. So let me jump up real quick and grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I had a scrap piece of wire here that I came off my spool because I used a bunch of it um, the other day to make something. So I had this one piece left over. So we're gonna use this um, to make our bracelet because it's more than enough um, length for that. And I did grab my Wire Guardians and my crimp tubes as well, because we're gonna need those. So we need a couple of wire guardians. And we need a couple crimp tubes. I feel like my mat is always so like furry from my little critters. Get a couple of these out. There we go. And since I want to do, um, start with like the center, I am going to grab a bead bug here if I can locate one real quick. In my little handy dandy drawer here. All right, so let's go ahead and clip off one side. And we're going to um, start in the center. So. I want to use this rose quartz bead right smack dab in the center of our, um, yeah, of our strand. But I also want to put up against it a couple of these, one of these um, little floral bead caps here. I feel like I'm not on camera. Am I on camera? Let me mess with it a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay, oh, that's going the wrong way. 
You know what, sometimes I'm not good at using that. Let's just get a few beads on first and then we'll do it. <laughs> but, cause I'm just like, ah, this isn't working out for me. Okay, so string these on real quick, one on each side. And the end of the spool always gets a little curly, but these the weight of these beads and everything will help straighten it out. And once the bracelet's been made, it'll be fine. All right, so we have that. And then I would like to go and go right into this beautiful Picasso fire polished beads. And let's just do similar colors on here the best that we can because they're all very different from each other. Okay. So let's do that. And then let's go ahead and end it with another bead cap. So again, this one's going to be very um, metal heavy. So they're going, there's going to be a lot of, well, not a lot of bead caps, but more bead caps than what I normally put on things. All right. And then let's do a couple of these green flowers. So one on each side of it. Like that. I wonder if that would look better with the green right up against it. Let's, I'm going to take those off because I'm not, that's not making me happy. So let's take that off and let's try this. Let's do, this, this wire is going to get on my nerves. Um, let's do a couple little gold spacers right next to the rows. Let's do that and then let's go right into our green flowers. Yes, that's much better. That's what I want to see. Okay, so now we're now I feel like we're on the right track. Let's do this one. All right. And we might end up using some of these little lily flowers because these are really cute and I think they would look really cute here. All right, so let's do this. Let's do our little lilies next. Let's do it so they're pointing in towards our flower. So the flower part of the lily is pointing in towards our flower. We will come back to those pink beads, don't worry. We will, I promise. But right now I wanna do, I'm trying, I'm going for like a certain look here. All right, I wonder how these bead caps will look on the end of, not great. Okay, so we're not gonna do that, that's fine. So let's just go ahead and put these guys on, one on each side. There we go. And again, I just want like a nice, soft, romantic piece. Okay, that looks really pretty together. All right, so that makes a great focal for the top of your bracelet. Let me go ahead and take this bracelet off so I can, I made this one like a little bit snug on my wrist so I could wear it on my right hand. All right. where we're at okay so that looks really pretty that looks really really pretty so I feel like we could pretty much end the rest of this with the pink beads so I think I'm gonna want to grab I have two lilies left so let's grab the last two of those and we're gonna have them pointing the opposite direction so like this to kind of use, we're gonna kind of pretend like those lilies are bead caps, okay? For, for this, in a way. All right, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and put one of these bead caps on, and then we'll grab some of these pink beads. So let's just do a couple in a row. Do the same thing on this side. And a couple in a row. And let's see where we're at. 
we have a very small clasp, clasp so we could probably still go another bead on each side, if not maybe, um, maybe a little bit more. Maybe I'll use some of those little amber um, seed beads that came with it right at the end because those are really great to use too. Don't ever throw these away that come off the strand. They're always great to use as fillers or you know little, little end pieces or whatever. Um, they're, they're wonderful to use. I keep them all. The clear ones that kind of get discolored that come on some strands, I use those like up inside of like um, a cone bead to like make it so your bead doesn't kind of get lost in there. All right, so let's put one more bead cap on and another pink bead. And then let's try it on. Okay, yeah. I think that that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use one of these little glass beads on each end here, just to kind of finish it off and give it just a tiny little bit more at the end there. And then we'll be able to go ahead and close off this bracelet. This bracelet did not take long at all to make. Very quick, very, very quick. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy just so I don't lose anything. All right, and we're going to go ahead and put the clasp right directly on our wire guardian because we don't need a bead cap. So let's go ahead and put our crimp tube on and then our wire guardian. There we go. And before we feed it through the crimp tube, let's put our one of our pieces from our toggle clasp on. I think that'll fit right in there. If not, we'll have to use a jump ring. Oh no, it fits like a glove. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. So then feed our tail through our crimp tube along with our other piece of wire there. Being careful not to cross my wires. All right, and then we can crimp Crimp that down. There we go. Nice little crimp. And then let's go ahead and bring this back down this way. And we're going to go ahead and try to put our beads over top of our tail, just like so. All right, there. Okay, so now Gravity did the work for us and now it's all the way down at the end. So now we can take our little bead bug off and we'll do the other side here. So we need our crimp tube. And I still have a really huge chunk of this wire left. Drop that all the way down to the side, to the end. Put our wire guardian on. Put it through the one other side, pull it down, but we still want to string on our other part of our clasp. All right, so that's on there. And then let's go ahead and string this through just a couple beads. Goodness, get it lined up, Jody. You can do it. I'm just gonna go through there, just through that much of it. I wanted to get past that little, um, the little um, bead cap because it, it'll sit funny if I don't. All right, so now we have this side done and we can go ahead and close off our, our little uh, crimp tube there. Like so. There. All right. So now let's go ahead and trim this off. Still have a lot left. Look at that. I could almost I could do a part of part of a bracelet still with this and maybe attach some chain to it 
to extend it. All right, so now we have our little bracelet, our sweet romantic little bracelet made. And I will try on the bracelet right now for you. Pull it close to me so I can get this here. I fumble with all of these things, you guys. All right. <laughs> okay, I know how to do this, but I'm, I'm struggling. There we go. Okay, now we got it through. So here is the top of our bracelet and it still has some room, which is good. So if I wanna wear it on my left hand over top of, by my watch, I can. And it looks very pretty. I love the green and the pink together. I think green and pink looks just gorgeous together. It looks so nice. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this around and you guys can see the earrings on me and then we'll be done with this video tonight. Okay, we want it back. Cheeto, no, get out of there. Cheeto. Hold on. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. No. I have a garbage bag in here because I was, <laughs> I was cleaning up. I was getting rid of some garbage. He's trying to dig in it. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So here are the earrings. And you can see my little butterfly. And see, they do hang and they like actually touch right here. So just barely. So they are longer, but they look really pretty. I really like them. And then of course, there's the bracelet. So I have something really pretty romantic to wear when we go do our dinner and sunset um, cruise. And I think they look really pretty and I'll probably wear my hair up that day. So um, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me in making these earrings, which took me a hot minute to figure out what I wanted to do and staying for the bracelet. The bracelet didn't take nearly as long, a lot easier. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's Sam Speedbox and it's Chateau and Bloom for April, 2024. If you have not subscribed, but you are interested in subscribing, you can click on the link in the notes and you can use Jody to save $5 off your first subscription. Um, otherwise, if you're just wanting to get your hands on a couple items, they always post um, their box extras online or on their app, and you're more than welcome to shop the box extras. So um, actually check it out anytime, you know, you just go check it out. So I will see you soon, and we'll keep counting down days to vacation, and Hang on because I'm going to have something cool coming up with these. So cute, very cute. And maybe even something that the kids would enjoy doing with you. So if you're wanting probably an older child friendly craft, um, you'll see when I do it. Okay. All right, everyone. Much love to you all. God bless. And I hope you have a great week. The whole week is going to be good for you. All right. Bye, everyone.